So I'm Jessica Cootie, joined by defensive line coach Terrence Knighton. Well, welcome to Lincoln. How's it going? How are you settling, settling in? I'm trying to settle in. I've um, been on the road for the past 10 days, but um, it's, it's, it's been quite the experience, getting a lot of love from the fans, so we're excited. How do you enjoy recruiting? Are you enjoying getting back to it? Yeah, this is where my heart is. This is why I left the NFL to come back to college football. This is something I always wanted to do, a school I watched growing up that I admired a lot, and it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and I wasn't going to pass up on it. What did you admire about Nebraska growing up? Um, just the success, you know, the tradition, um, seeing that end on the helmet, knowing what it means, black shirt history, um, obviously a winning program, the national championship. So when I first fell in love with football, this was the school that you fell in love with. So um, it's a dream come true. You played for Coach Rule, he's on the staff at Temple, and then what was it about him that you wanted to join his coaching staff? Well, the thing about football is, and the thing about life, is all about relationships. And when Coach Rule first came to Temple my sophomore year, he was actually my position coach. And uh, me and him developed a bond that, you know, we still connect to this day. And um, once I was done playing football in the NFL, I got into coaching, and he's a guy who um, mentored me throughout the process. So um, when I had the opportunity to coach him in Carolina, I jumped at it. And when he called me, said he was taking the job here, I jumped at that right away. So. What's your philosophy coach in the defensive line? Gritty playmakers. We're going to do everything the tough way. We're going to make plays, but at the same time, we're going to be tough. We're going to be in our gap. We're going to play with our hands. We're going to get after people. All right, let's take a look at uh, some of the new gritty playmakers that'll be wearing the Husker uniform. We start on the edge. Princewell, Uman Yellen. Did I say that right? Uman Yellen? Yes. Uman Yellen. Good there job. we go. Yes. Uh, out of Austin, Texas, Manor High School, as a senior, 65 tackles, 22 tackles for loss, eight sacks. What do you like about him? Very dynamic kid, long, has a great passion for the game. Um, very smart kid, comes from a great family, um, has a history of athletes in their family. His brother goes to University of Florida and um, just a guy we feel like can come in right away and immediately impact our roster. What is the plan for him? Uh, early enrollee, you expect him to, to come in and compete right away? Right away. Um, those are the type of guys we look for, mature guys on and off the field. Um, we sat in those living rooms during the offseason and just made sure we're getting football guys. And he's definitely one. He has a high passion for the game. And uh, we look for him to come in right away and be an uh, impact on this team. All right, Maverick Noonan, 6'4", 225. Nebraska fans know him well. Uh, out of Elkhorn, South Omaha, and his legacy is his dad played here. 48 mm -hmm. tackles, five tackles for loss, six and a half sacks. How have you enjoyed getting to know him? It's been great. It's been great getting to know him and his dad. You know, obviously learned the history behind the family and, um, you know, a black shirt and a guy who's well respected um, in the Big Red community. And um, I'm just excited to be a part of it. Um, looking to make him proud as well, you know, as Nebraska fans and seeing his son, you know, all come to fruition. So I'm excited about him. A guy who's going to come in right away, graduated early. Great kid, great student, um, has the right mentality. Um, a guy who looks you in the eye and you can never figure out, but it's, it's kind of good. It's kind of good, but um, he's going to come in right away and push the group and definitely come in and impact us as well. I know you guys are going to recruit from all over, but how important is it to lock up those in-state kids? First thing Coach told us, we're not going to lose Nebraska guys. So we put a lot of effort in making sure we keep the home talent home. And um, that's where it all starts for us. All right, Kai Wallen, 6'6", 240, uh, transfer from American River Community College, going to have three years of eligibility, 33 tackles, five sacks, seven and a half tackles for loss. He was a kid uh, reading up when him fell through the cracks in high school, but um, had a big junior college year. What do you like about him? I, same thing, long guy, is going to come in right away and compete, has a chip on his shoulder, like you said, slip through the cracks. But um, Coach Rue has a history of finding guys like that, guys who are under-recruited, um, kind of blossom towards the end of the process, but um, he's going to come in right away and compete. Uh, we're going to be dynamic on defense, so we need a lot of dynamic guys, and he has the right mindset to come in and impact us as well. He had a lot of opportunities to go a lot of places, but he mentioned the relationship he built with you. Mm -hmm. uh, what goes into that for you? How do you go about and how important is that, developing these relationships with these players? Well, that's the relationship we're going to have with all our guys. We're going to tirelessly work to make sure that we're impacting these guys off the field just as much as on the field. And uh, sat and talked with his family. Uh, mom's the great athlete in the family, so that's where he gets his genes from. And his sister's a volleyball player, so um, a very athletic family. And I look for him to come in and you know help us right away. All right, let's move to the D-line. Riley Van Poppel, 6'4", 270, out of Argyle, Texas. 
Uh, lined up a bunch of different places. DN mm -hmm. tackle, 80 tackles, 70 tackles for lost, 10 sacks. Mm -hmm. He kind of did it all for Ar Argyle High School. Right, and he'll do the same for us. He can line up anywhere. His body is mature. He's ready to play right away. Um, play great football in Texas. Um, great family. Um, dad is a was a pitcher. Um, took it in the first round. And um, when you meet the family, you can see where he gets his well-roundedness from. You know, his dad is a very serious person. You know, his mom, you know, kind of lights up the house. And um, so he's a well-rounded kid, great academic student. And he's going to come in right away and help being a guy who's matured, you know, early, you know, in his life. So look for him to, you know, help out in the trenches. He committed to the old staff, stayed committed because he, he believes in what you guys do, but he also believes in this place and this school and academics very important to him. Right, and he's one guy, when I sat and talked to him, he said, Coach, I'm locked in. You don't have to worry about me. But um, we're just diligent at how we work and make sure guys are comfortable. And it was very important for us to make sure we talked to the committed kids from the previous staff. We did a good job recruiting those guys and just made sure they knew exactly who they are. They're in the right situation. You know, and also gave them the opportunity to go elsewhere if they felt. But, you know, a lot of times guys felt comfortable with the staff, and you know, that's a tribute to Coach, Coach Rule. All right, Jason Machachok, mm -hmm. Machachok out of Pierre, South Dakota. O-line, D-line, a state champion up there. Are you guys, you battling out with Coach Rayola on, on which uh, side he plays? Yeah, a few guys actually um, <laughs> were battling out, but he's the perfect example of a guy who just was under-recruited. You know, a lot of people didn't do their homework on him, and, you know, we did. We have a great recruiting department. Um, two guys, Mike Wallace and Omar Hills, does a great job of finding those type of guys. And, um, you know, we watched this film. He's our type of guy. He's tough. You know, he's willing to do whatever he can to help the team win. And um, we're just happy to get him flipped and get him here and uh, get him a part of uh, Big Red Country. I love what his high school coach about him. He's a mountain of a man that moves like an avalanche. Yes. But yes. he can overwhelm with his raw power, athleticism, has a deep understanding of football too. Yes, dancing bear. <laughs> Big guy with great feet, um, can move. So that's why, you know, me and coach kind of go back and forth about if he's on O-line or D-line. So we'll see what happens when he gets here. So. Another guy you guys are going to battle it out for, Mason Goldman, another mm -hmm. guy that Nebraska fans are very familiar with out of Gretna. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you see out of him? First and foremost, like I said, we're going to make sure that Nebraska guys stay home. And um, a guy who was just here on the visit and, you know, every time Coach Rayola sat with him, I made sure I sat with him <laughs> just to, you know, keep the competition up, let him know, hey, we like you on both sides of the ball. And um, But at the same time, it was great meeting him and his family. Glad he's staying home, can't lose guys like that, and I'm excited about what he offers to the team. How good is that when you have guys that play both sides? I mean, how much does that help them when they do lock in on one, understanding how the other side works? Right, it, it gives us options. You know, when you have a guy who's ready to come in and play, you can kind of fit them in where you need them. And um, at first you'll see, you know, what they do best, and then, um, you'll, then you'll see what he does best for the team. So. Um, He's a guy who's open to playing both, and we're excited about that and making sure we put him in the best position to be successful. All right, Vincent Carroll Jackson, 6'5", 285, out mm -hmm. of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. You guys like that area. Love that area. Uh, you know, that was our first home, you know, as a staff, and uh, we make sure we stay true to our roots. Um, and he's a guy who's only played one year of college, uh, high school football. Wow. Um, but he has a lot of talent, long, has 11-inch hands. He kind of, he has the claw hands, and we're just excited about his ability and uh, him developing as a young man. And uh, one day you guys will learn about his story, very unique situation, and I'll let him tell it because it's a beautiful story. How excited do you, do you get about guys like that that are so green that are just kind of getting started? I love it. I love it. And that's the part of college football that you love as a coach is just see guys blossom into young men. And um, his story will be a lot more special than most just because of where he comes from and, you know, what he had to overcome to, you know, to get to, to, get to this point. So I'm excited about that. All right. And Elijah Judy, the redshirt freshman transfer from Texas A&M. Another guy from Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. Philadelphia, 6'3", 295. What do you like about him? Need another dancing bear. You know, <laughs> uh, you know we're, we're a little thin inside and we wanted to get, you know, dynamic inside and, you know, get some depth behind these older guys that we do have returning on the team. And, um, you know, great guys to, young from, uh, to learn from. So um, he's a guy who feel, I feel like who can come in right away and immediately impact our roster and help us. And, um, you know, big body, but also, you know, athletic, so you're always excited about those type of guys. You seem pretty excited about this group that you're bringing in. Very excited, very excited about the group, very excited about the guys that we have here, and very excited about being at Nebraska.
All right, Terrence Knighton, appreciate your time. Thank you, appreciate you having me.